Welcome back to Spicy Mama's Kitchen. I'm Cheryl, your host, and today we're going to be making a Mexican classic, the chicken enchilada. So stay tuned, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start with your chicken because you need to get your chicken shredded up. And I just buy a whole chicken already cooked from the store because it works so much easier just to do it that way and save a lot of time in having to cook your own chicken. And what I like to do is I like to get everything uh, put into different, like, for our dogs, we go ahead and get put the skin in one. Molly, she's a great Pyrenees, so she gets the bones. So I like to separate everything out while I'm getting my chicken into my pot. Somebody's wanting some chicken. Is that right, baby? One for each of our dogs. This one goes for Molly. Oh, this one goes to Lily, and she's wanting hers now. <laughs> there we go. And this is this is our this is Molly, our Great Pyrenees, and she loves. But she got these teeth that could just chomp down all of this in no time. Here you go, Mom girl. But being the lady that she is, she won't eat until we leave. She will, will not eat in front of us, so we have to leave now. Now once you get your chicken all, all off the deboned off the, and get it in your pot, then you're going to want to add just a little bit of water to it to get it the moisture because you really want to get it nice and shredded. And then I always like to add, of course, some green chili because I'm spicy mama and that's just how I roll. So we're going to put some, not a whole lot, um, but just enough to give it a good spicy flavor. And then we'll just stir it up and let it let it cook away and shred, it, shred down so some nice pieces. It'd be great. I like to use green chili, but that's because I buy mine uh, through in Hatch, New Mexico and have it shipped up here to Washington. But a lot of times when I don't have it available, I'll use Mrs. Renfro's to add a little bit of the heat into the chicken ahead of time. And it works, it works just as well. Or you don't have to put any spice if you don't want to. That's strictly up to you. All right, we're getting ready to assemble our enchiladas here. And the first thing I like to do is start off with some refried beans. I like to use the spicy jalapeno, of course I do, but you don't have to, you can use just the regular. I just think it gives it a little bit more of a, a, a spice, a, a flavor enhancer is all. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna spread out a thin layer of refried beans onto our tortilla. So once you have all of your um, all of your enchiladas, all of your tortillas with, with the refried beans, the next step is to add your onions. Just a thin layer that goes across. Whoops, sometimes they land on the floor. Okay, and um, then after our next layer, which was our onions, were added. Now we're going to take all of this nice shredded chicken that we have and do our next layer and that's the thing that's the real key about these enchiladas is just add your layers as you go along and then when you roll them all up oh just delicious And at this point in time, you want to go ahead and turn on your oven. I set my oven to 350, um, and that'll be perfect for cooking the enchiladas when you get to that point. Right now, we're adding our cheese, our next layer. Gotta love our cheese. Now that we have our cheese added, which I did add um, Monterey Jack and uh, sharp cheddar cheese, both kinds. Now we're going to roll our tortilla. Our or enchiladas. They're very easily easy to roll and what I really like about these is that you can the um, the uh, refried beans kind of act like a binder and help hold it all together. Makes it much easier to, to keep it together. Just roll them up like that. Very simple. Okay and for our sauce here's our here's our enchiladas all put together all ready to go. We just need to get our sauce put on them and I've got two different ones going on here because I'm going to do two different types of sauce of sauce over the top. This is my tomatillo salsa, which we grow our own tomatillos and then we like to make our sauce out of it. Um, pretty, pretty spicy, we like them spicy. But if you don't have tomatillos, which most people don't, they do make a great enchilada sauce. It's very mild, so you can just use it right out of the can like this, 
Or what I like to do is add a little bit of green chili to mine to spice it up a little bit. This is my tomatillo salsa, and I just put a thin layer right over the top. It's just delicious. It's got it's got onions and jalapenos and just um, red pepper flakes. You can even see those a little bit in there, and it's just delicious. Now we're getting ready, we're going to put them in our oven. We're going to let them bake at 350 for 30 minutes. And then we'll have this finished product. Two different styles, both of them delicious. Lizzie and I just want to thank you for joining Spicy Mama in the kitchen today, and we hope that you'll stay tuned for our next episode. See